In this video, we're going to look at a common application to the intermediate value theorem. Okay, let's show that there is a root to this equation right here, x to the fourth plus x minus three equals zero on the closed interval negative one to two. All right, the first thing I'm going to do, step one, is I'm going to define the function f of x equal x to the fourth plus x minus three. Now notice by doing that, finding the zeros of this function is the same as finding the roots of this equation, okay? All right, so step two, I'm going to evaluate my function at these endpoints just to see if it tells me anything interesting. So f of negative one equals negative one to the fourth minus one minus three which is negative three. F of two is two to the fourth plus two minus three, which is 16 plus two or 18 minus three, which is 15. Now, if I were to just plot these points on the graph, so negative one goes to negative three, and two, I'll put two over here, goes up here to 15. All right, now this should start looking familiar to you in terms of the intermediate value theorem. This right here is a polynomial, so we know this is a continuous function everywhere, so certainly continuous on this interval. So I have a function that is continuous on the closed interval. Now f of, so here could be my a, and here is my b, and I notice that, so first of all, f of a does not equal f of b. And zero is a number between f of a and f of b, because f of a is negative and f of b is positive, so zero sits in between. So by the intermediate value theorem, there must exist a c in this open interval, so negative one to two, such that f of c equals zero. So what did we just show? We showed that there is a c somewhere between a and b such that f of c is equal to zero. That is, there is a root for x to the fourth plus x minus three equals zero on negative one, two. Now, notice this, what the intermediate value theorem doesn't tell us. It doesn't tell us what that root is. It just tells us that that, that one exists. 